hi hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see the concept of simple harmonic motion so what is a simple harmonic motion the type of motion in which the force must be restoring so those type of motion in which the force must be restoring that is the motion which is caused due to a restoring force those motions we call as the simple harmonic motion or shm so if force restoring force is minus kx k is the spring or force constant okay the, if minus kx force is then it is shm and it is also oscillatory if force is equal to minus kx square then it is a translatory motion so this is a previous year neat question you must remember force is equal to minus kx for a simple harmonic motion and displacement in the simple harmonic motion is display is represented by a cos omega t plus psi or a sin omega t plus psi so what is a a is the amplitude amplitude is nothing but maximum displacement so maximum dips displacement is a so a cos of omega t plus psi the previous video i have said that omega is equal to 2 pi f that is equal to 2 pi divided by t so this is f is frequency and t is time period and psi is nothing but the phase difference or the angle phase difference simply we can remember okay so either it can be a cos omega t plus psi or a sin omega t plus psi if psi is zero then it is a cos omega t or a sin omega t according to the condition you want to use cos or sin okay so if it is uh, if the motion is represented like this in the graph and this is a common previous year question and common type of question they ask the equation of motion equation of displacement then if arrow mark is pointed in anti-clockwise direction it is a cos omega t plus psi and displacement in if it is represented in clockwise direction it is a sin omega t plus psi anti-clockwise cos clockwise sin omega is 2 pi divided by t that is equal to 2 pi f frequency is nothing but 1 by time period omega is the angular frequency okay and let us work out a numerical equation of shm they are asked and see that it is a anti-clockwise motion for anti-clockwise motion it is a cos omega t plus psi okay how will you find the a suppose if this radius is given as 2 meter okay 2 meter they have given then a is nothing but 2 okay in this question let us take the radius is 2 meter so 2 cos of why we are taking cos anti-clockwise motion cos of omega t omega is 2 pi divided by t into t plus psi is phase angle psi is 30 degree they have given which is pi divided by 6 so which is 2 cos 2 pi divided by time period is 2 second they have given 2 second in the question they have given see here plus pi by 6 so which is 2 cos pi t plus pi by 6 this is the equation of motion if the clockwise arrow is given you will take here sign that's all if they are giving find the displacement at 5 second then instead of this small t you have to substitute the value of 5 okay if they are asking find the displacement at 7 second so then you want to substitute 7 instead of this small t see here x is equal to you compare it this a cos omega t plus psi x is meter t in second what is the amplitude they have asked the so amplitude is 0.25 x is in meter so it is 0.25 meter frequency they are asking okay this i am equating and i am finding the frequency omega is 6000 so 2 pi f is 6000 so f is 6000 divided by 2 pi so this is the frequency and angular frequency angular frequency is nothing but omega so omega is 6000 this is the angular 
frequency is 6000 radian and frequency is second power minus 1 so this is the amplitude value frequency is this value and angular frequency is omega t so like this is the common type of question they ask now i am going to say a trick okay this type of question they is most commonly asked question see that one in a for example if you take a pendulum it for it it moves from equilibrium position to one extreme point then again to equilibrium position then again to another extreme point then again to equilibrium position this equilibrium position i'm representing it by o and two extremes are represented by a and minus a and the midpoint between those are minus a by 2 and a by 2 so if you see that from minus a to minus a by 2 the time taken is t by 6 from minus a by 2 to 0 the time taken is t by 12 from 0 to a by 2 the time taken is t by 12 from a by 2 to a the time taken is t by 6 and the same repeats when you go in this the reverse direction so this t is nothing but time period suppose if i am okay now let us i will ask one numerical okay given that time period is two second find out the time taken to move from equilibrium center to one extreme like this they will ask so e equilibrium center is o to one extreme let us take it as a so from o it must travel a by 2 from a by 2 it must travel a so this time is t by 12 this time is t by 6 so t by 12 plus t by 6 the answer comes out to be t by 4 and they have given that time period is 2 second so it is 2 divided by 4 which is 1 by 2 second so this is the time taken to move from center to one extreme so this way they ask the numerical and you must be able to do so t by 6 from minus a to minus a by 2 and a and a by 2 to a to move from 0 to midpoint on the either side the time is t by 12 where t is the time period so if my this is the way they ask the question i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you